the tiger is an incredible animal. The, the, the fact that, that people the world over hold it, hold it in such reverence, even in places where it's not found, is not very surprising when you see a tiger. But it's also capable of inspiring incredible awe and, and actually giving you a glimpse into a world that's beyond human beings. That, that makes us realize that there's more to the world than we really understand. India is an incredibly important country for the tiger. What I do consider India to be is a great model for how all developing countries can deal with human issues as well as saving tigers. But if tigers blink out in all other places except India, we're going to lose what the essence of, of a tiger is. But what India represents, not only does it have the largest number of tigers left in the world by far, but it represents a very important model of how people and tigers in very difficult situations can live together. Everybody hears tigers, tigers, and often people wonder why is there so much emphasis just on tigers? And they throw around terms like the, the apex predator, the umbrella species, keystone species, but these are very important terms, they're very important concepts, is that saving a tiger, saving an apex predator like a tiger, means that without having to spend huge amounts of time and money and effort on studying every part of a healthy ecosystem, every part of a natural environment, you can, you can almost guarantee an intact, healthy ecosystem when you save the tiger, because in places where the tiger lives, if you're saving the tiger, you know that you're saving many species that are beneath the tiger, under that umbrella of the tiger. By saving the forest where tigers live, it's not just about tigers, it's about the health of the people in the countries that live with tigers, because these intact forests are what guarantee healthy water supplies, of what health in, in many ways mitigate, mitigate, help mitigate climate change.